Jordan Peterson was asked what was the best argument for atheism, and you're not going to believe his answer. I don't think there is a good argument for atheism. But before we get into that, my name is Elijah, and I make videos about faith that engages the culture for Jesus. So let's get right into the video. So make sure to watch till the end, and I have a Bible verse that will bring this all together. Shout out to Apologetics Roadshow for making this video. What do you think the best mm -hmm. argument for atheism is? Oh my. <laughs> This is crazy. He's just speechless. He has no idea. I'm like, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. I feel like he does have some good arguments, but he's just like, this is crazy what he says, so keep watching. I don't think there is a good argument for atheism. Oh my goodness. He's like, I don't think there's a good argument for atheism. Sorry, guys. I mean, like, I love you, and I wish you would know that there is a creator, and he made you and designed you for a purpose. And he wants a relationship with you and he loves you very much. He knows each and every one of your names. I hope you know that. We're not like coming at you because we hate you, but we want you to realize that God loves you. I thought maybe I'm more smarter than I always thunk I was. There is no good argument for atheism. I don't think there is a good argument for atheism. What's I think it's based on a fundamental misunderstanding about the nature of the world. So it's just, okay. it's, it's, uh, it's, what would you say? It's an illegal chess move. It's an illegal chess move. What? You thought you could just take wow. the king out of the game because you're- Ah, wow. That's a great point. Like, so they're, they're just like, oh, there's, it's just easy to say there is no God, in my opinion. It's easier to say there is no God compared to saying there is a God. Because when you say there's no God, you can do whatever you want. An atheist and you don't know how to mate? But there's a problem with Dr. Peterson's response. The question wasn't, are there any good arguments for atheism? Of course there aren't. The question was, what's the best argument for atheism? Even if all the arguments for a terrible, absurd position are bad arguments, you can still point to the best of the bad arguments. So, what's the best of the bad arguments for atheism? This might, this might just show it that I don't understand you, but we'll get to it if I the don't. The best argument for atheism. What's the best materialistic, of the worst Materialistic then? determinism is the best argument for atheism. But isn't that a philosophical sort of assumption or axiom? How well, you, yeah, that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. The best of the bad arguments for atheism, according to Jordan Peterson, is materialistic determinism. I'm not sure what he means by materialistic determinism that would normally be the view that what happens in the material world is determined by matter and the laws of yeah, nature. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means by that either. Material determinism. That wouldn't mean that God doesn't exist. You can be a materialistic determinist about our universe and still believe that God exists. So I'll assume that he just means materialism. Materialism, in this sense, is the position that the material world is the fundamental reality. Everything that happens can ultimately be explained in terms of matter in motion. Now, if the material world is all there is, there obviously can't be an immaterial deity. So if we assume that materialism is true, then God doesn't exist. But as Matt pointed out, that's an assumption. But isn't that a philosophical sort of assumption or axiom? How well, you, yeah, that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. If you assume at the beginning that the material world is all that exists and you conclude that God can't exist because you've already assumed that the material world is all that exists, that's begging the question. So the best argument for atheism would be a fallacy. But our materialistic determinist friends can find comfort in the fact that, according to their worldview, if their reasoning is fallacious, they were determined <laughs> to reason fallaciously. So, atheists, it's not your fault. The universe made you like this. But suppose what we really mean when we ask what's the best argument for atheism is what's the most effective argument for atheism? What's the most effective argument for atheism? 
Here, the answer isn't really an argument. It's not a fallacy. It's a manipulation tactic. Join our group and you're smart. Don't join our group and you're dumb. Atheist, yeah, that's, smart. that's the Religious problem. People. I feel like so many atheists come at Christians like crazy because the, there's this mindset that if you are a religious nut then you're dumb and if you're an atheist and you believe in evolution or you don't believe there's a god then you are smart and you're part of the elite club oh, dumb oh smart them dumb them no smart we smart them dumb if you can convince people that they magically become the champions of some prized virtue just by joining your group and running around screaming, Sky Daddy, 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 you're going to win a lot of converts. That's why atheism took off in the early 2000s. A bunch of gullible young people boarded the good ship Cheap Ego Boost on a one-way trip to Fantasyland. But let's invite them to planet reality for a moment. Falling for low-level manipulation tactics and the fallacies you'd hear about on day one of a logic class doesn't mean you're smart. Patting yourself on the back and bragging about being champions of reason and science mm. doesn't make you champions of reason That's and true. science. That's true. I feel like... All the comments I get down below are like, you need to go to college. You need to, like, why don't you go take a class or something? And they're already thinking that I haven't ever took any classes on this topic. They, they seem to think they're the smartest people in the world or, or have this some higher power of knowledge. And, and whoever doesn't believe it just hasn't learned yet. <laughs> Living in an online echo chamber of, we smart, they dumb gives you absolutely no reason to think that you're smarter than anyone else. Stop boasting for a while. Close your eyes and think deeply. And you'll realize. <laughs> I don't think there is a good argument for atheism. Okay, shout out to Apologetics Roadshow. I thought he was really funny and he had some... Good arguments, and I thought that was pretty hilarious. But that's not why I wanted to make this video. I encourage you guys, like, if you have doubts on religion, if you have doubts on faith in Jesus and what he did, and, and maybe you're just curious and, and you're wondering about a lot of different things, I encourage you just to ask God to, to reveal himself to you. Ask him to show you his love because that's what it that's what it's really about having a relationship with jesus more than more than all the knowledge in the world more than all the facts in the world more than any of that having a relationship with jesus is ultimately what it comes down to what's the most important thing so i encourage you guys to do that today and i have a bible verse here that i want to read to you guys and hopefully this helps Acts chapter 17 verses 24 says, He is the God who made the world and everything in it. Since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, he doesn't live in man-made temples. So what he's talking about during that time is the people were worshiping gods and, and other things. And, and Paul was trying to let them know that there's the God who created everything. He's the God of the universe. He loves you all so much and he longs to have a relationship with you. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts. Please like this video to help more people see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we love you all. Bye.